you've learned pretty much everything you can about the other people in the cast. Well, where it's we, like, okay, I know everything I need to know about you. You would think, but there are moments where things surprise you. Um, uh, Ed O'Neill and I were shooting a scene uh, the other day where we were both in a steam room, and uh, and the joke is that Mitchell's in the steam room, and then like the smoke, the steam sort of clears, and he realizes his father's also in the steam room, but his father's naked. Mm -hmm. So like we're gonna do, you know, they're gonna pixelate him, and like, but for shooting purposes, he was wearing a pair of like nude colored underwear, Ed O'Neill, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> the wonderful, brilliant Ed O'Neill. Sure. So here I am, like basically naked with Ed O'Neill, and he's wearing his, like, you know, nude color underwear. And we get to the part of the scene where I'm supposed to sort of glance over and, and look at him, and I notice that Ed is huge. <laughs> like, distractingly massive. And I'm just like, so I, I, I'm nervous about looking again because I don't want him to think that I'm like staring, but it's hard not to look. And um, then I, I see him sort of getting, he's a little bit uncomfortable, sort of fidgeting around a little bit. And I was like, oh my God, Ed has an erection. What? <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh my God. And then I started getting very protective of him. I was like, oh, all the camera crew is going to see this. He's going to be so embarrassed. I was like, stop looking at Ed's erection. And I was like, and everyone's sort of laughing. And then he sort of stands up and he's like, we're still readjusting. And then I, I, I allow myself a really good glance and he has stuffed his underwear with a fake penis <laughs> to get at me. And he was so proud of himself. He was so, because he's not a jokester. He's not, right. he doesn't do pranks. He's, he doesn't do stuff like this. You he's never like, I want to go home and just have a glass of wine and a nice steak and call it a day. You know, he's not like looking to like, right. play practical jokes. And right. he's just so pleased with himself. Right. And I was like, the first thing I said was like, did Eric Stone Street put you up to this? He's like, no, it was my idea. <laughs> he was really proud of himself. So proud of himself.